Measuring your window properly is a very important step in making sure you get a product you are 100% satisfied with. Please take the time to measure carefully as an inch or two can affect the aesthetics and functionality of your shutter. Please read the manual specific to the type of shutter you are ordering beforehand for more detailed instructions and relevant diagrams. The manual will assist you in determining the proper shutter size to order based on the opening measurements. You will require a tape measure as well as a pencil and paper to begin your measure. You must first determine the type of building material the opening is constructed of. The placement of hinges and or the type of fasteners used to anchor the shutter to the building may vary based on the opening's building material. Start by looking for any nearby obstacles which may interfere with the shutter so that they can be considered when measuring. Examples of these would be walkways, railings, landscaping, or existing and future shutters on nearby windows. For a brick opening, you will want to measure between the inside faces of the brick. Take three width measurements at the top, middle, and bottom portions of the opening. Then take three height measurements at the left, middle, and right portions of the opening. Should your three measurements differ, always take the largest of the three. You also want to locate the area of the wall where your anchors will end up to ensure that proper embedment and substructure will be met. See manual for more details. Now the size which will be ordered must be determined. For Bahamas, the width is typically ordered one inch larger than the opening to allow a half inch on either side. This is for aesthetic reasons. This opening's width was measured at 79 and a half inches, so the shutter will be ordered at 80 and a half. For the height, a chart must be used because louvered shutters are only available at certain increments. This opening's height was measured at 68 inches, so the closest available height will be selected, which is 68 and 3 eighths. For Bahamas, you must also consider the lock pin and hinge, which will typically add 3 inches to the height of the shutter when assembled. There is plenty of room above this opening to move the shutter up if necessary, so the height does not have to be adjusted. These details can be found in the Bahama Manual. Before installation, please read the manual specific to the type of shutter you are ordering for more detailed instructions and relevant diagrams. The manual will include instructions that may not be mentioned in this video. Ear, eye, and hand protection is recommended for safety in all steps. Also, some steps may require two people to perform safely. The following tools are required for installation on brick. A pencil, tape measure, relevant drill bits, universal step bit, hex driver, brick installation screws, a level, caulk gun with silicone, drill, and a rotary hammer drill. Depending on the type of brick of the opening, a drill with a hammer function may work in place of a full-size rotary hammer drill. A more detailed list including specific required drill bits and screws can be found in the shutter manual. You can begin by ensuring that you have the correct shutter for the opening by doing a quick measure before moving on. The first step is to prep the Bahama hinge. The Bahama hinge must be pre-drilled with quarter inch holes with a maximum of 8 inches separation. After prepping the hinge, slide it onto the Bahama frame which has the male counterpart. Place 1 inch shims on the sill of the window to allow space for the lock pin assembly. Place the shutter on these shims and center it on the opening. Use a level on the side and bottom or top of the shutter to ensure that it is level. This is critical for the functionality of the shutter. Additional shims may have to be used to level the shutter. Once the shutter is centered and leveled, the hinge holes may be marked on the wall. Remove the shutter and use the rotary hammer drill to drill out these holes. Fill the hole with silicone to prevent water from entering the wall. Hang the hinge by itself using the hex driver and hex screws. Seal the top of the hinge to prevent water from getting behind the shutter. Once the hinge is installed, the shutters may be hung by sliding it onto place and centering it on the hinge.
The shutters can now be locked laterally by inserting tech screws into the end of the hinge so that the shutter cannot slide left or right. Note that you do not want to screw through the shutter itself. Now the wall brackets for the locks must be installed. Typically the bracket is installed an inch lower than the bottom of the shutter so that it is centered with respect to the lock pin slot. Once positioned, the holes can be marked on the wall. Remove the bracket and drill holes through the brick. Seal the holes and use them to mount the bracket to the wall. Now that the brackets are ready, the lock pin assembly can be installed. Insert the lock pin into the slot on the shutter and install the thumb screw through the hole in the bottom of the slot. Slide the pin back and forth to test the operation and remove any debris that may be in the slot. To mark the hole that must be made on the bracket, position the shutter in the locked position and slide the lock into the bracket. Gently rock the shutter in order to mark the spot on the bracket. Once the bracket is marked, use the step bit to drill the hole. Step the hole out to a half inch or bigger. Test the locks to ensure that the holes were placed properly. Once the locks have been properly set up, the pole assembly may be installed. The larger diameter pole is attached to the shutter, while the smaller diameter pole is attached to the wall bracket. Open the shutter to the desired angle and fix it in place by tightening the pole collars. The shutter is now complete.